Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I will present to you five tips that will change the way you are playing chess. Of course, for the better side. Then I will play a quick blitz in Chesscom and I will try to show you how I apply these tips. So tip number one. In every move that your opponent is playing, ask yourself what he is threatening, right? It's very important to understand because his thought is also on the board. You must understand his thoughts, what he wants to do. Tip number two, develop your pieces. Don't play with one piece across all the board, right? Make each of your army doing his best job in the board. Tip number three. After we have already developed the pieces and castled, think about a game plan. Where do you want to attack? In the center? In the queen side? Maybe in the king side? It's very important to realize how do you develop your pieces and attack in every single area or the board. Tip number four. Calculate, calculate, calculate variations. Don't be lazy and consistently try to calculate as many variations you can do. You know, it will make you feel the position better. Try to do everything in your head, in the imagination. It will improve your skills. I promise. Tip number five. Pay attention to the times, right? To the time control, to the clock. We must remember that the clock is the part of the game. So we should play moves intuitively, right? So now I will try to do all of these tips in one blitz game. Let's do some fun here in Chesscon. Come on, we can do it. So three minutes and I will search another three plus two maybe. And I, it, I hope that everything will be fine and we will have some, yeah, it's searching. As you can see, it's searching for a, a game. You know what? Maybe I will do uh, also like minus 400. Okay. I did it one, um, one time, three minutes and three plus two. Let's see, searching. Come on, we can play. Yes, okay, and we are playing with the black pieces against international master from Mongolia. Okay, so e4, c5, this is the opening, and we are playing d6, the knight of maybe, as we already saw in the course, the tutorial that I'm uh, uploading every single day. So, a4, now let's play bishop e6, we are now in the developing area, right? And you know what, I think... There is some tactics, maybe 94, but you know what? I really want to show you how I'm playing, you know, um, with with the game plan. Okay, so we're castled, and now this square is very tempting for me. I think I will play knight a6 now. I want to bring the knight here, the this knight to d7, and bishop g5. This is the game plan, okay? I think bishop takes d5 makes sense, but there he will bring his... Um, bishop into the game right so it's important to understand what to do now i think maybe also knight takes d5 bishop d7 and now i want maybe to push f5 bishop g5 and knight b4 so every move now we must understand what our opponent is thinking about so now he's ca he's not casting it yet so knight before we are putting the knight in a good uh, position so until now there is no threats uh, by our opponent. Now I think bishop g5, right? Because this bishop is weaker than this uh, this bishop, of course. Let's play f5 maybe or maybe rook c8. What do you think about rook c8? Just developing another rook into the game. Uh, yeah, knight c4. I didn't. Uh, yes, I didn't uh, thought about this move, unfortunately. Um, but it's also interesting. What can we do now? Maybe f5, you know? f5, it's interesting move. I, I don't know because I feel like the king is in the center. And maybe we can play um, something around it. Okay, so this is good moves that he's playing. I think queen e7 because this... this oh, I blundered this pawn on a5, unfortunately. Um, yeah, 
I blunder it, but you can see that my pieces are very good developed, right? Let's play knight c2, for example. We are attacking this rook. I know that the b7 pawn is also under attack. I don't have so much time because, you know, I, I, I talked a lot, a little bit. So I will try to um, play some good moves now. Bishop a4 also makes sense. Um, what do you think? Bishop a4, let's do it maybe. Uh, or not. I'm not sure because I feel like I have something here. Um, let's take it. I, I don't I didn't like it what but okay let's try let's try something and um, let's play knight bishop d7 oh knight c4 oh knight e3 I, I had to play unfortunately yeah yeah this was a mistake another mistake by me uh, but it's fine you know this is chess game everything is fine let's play a uh, knight here I don't know why but I don't have so much time it's it's not so easy to to play and talk about these tips but I'm trying to do it as you can see and um, so what can knight b6 yeah I'm not sure about the position uh, <laughs> that I'm playing here uh, but I'm trying I'm trying to do it yeah it's not so easy it's not so easy uh, but it feels like yeah I, I'm, I'm attacking the bishop of course o all of all what we talked about it's very important to understand that we I really recommend you to do it um, in in classical right also in rapid here uh, because it's it's not so easy of course to to do it um, just you know like in blitz games um, okay so the position is very bad of course this this position is totally um, bad but you know I, I will try to to survive it somehow and that's it um, but yeah it's not going good of course let's play bishop f6 maybe trying to to do something here um, but yeah it's already bad bad position queen to c3 Yeah, now I thought maybe h6 to play because I, I want to, to be on the safe side now maybe I don't know king h7 maybe let's do it um, let's do it yeah, I'm trying to survive but of course yeah it's it's very difficult Oh, the queen takes. Maybe it's interesting. I don't know. I don't have time to think. So let's try to do it. The unbelievable here. Yes, checkmate on the board. So, yeah, it, it was not so easy to try, you know, to show you how I manage to apply these tips. But overall, you must think about every move that your opponent is playing. You have time because if you are uh, playing like rapid games, 20 minutes per, uh, per opponent, you can think slowly also in time control of classical game like one hour and a half you have time so these tips just will grow your rating up 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 i'm telling you and if not 
just write in the comments below and tell me what do you think about these tips so thank you very much don't forget the like button and also subscribe my channel see you soon bye bye